So you may be in a position where you want to go ahead and change your wallpaper on iOS 16. Now this is a little bit of a different process on iOS 16 than previous versions of iOS, but to do this what you want to do, and I'm going to use my different iPhone because I love that wallpaper on that phone, is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings application. Now when you're here, you want to scroll down until you see wallpaper. So here we want to click wallpaper. Now this is a different process than before. Normally we can just choose whichever lock screen and we wouldn't really see a different type of, you know, we wouldn't see add new, we would just see, you know, add, you know, change wallpaper. So here what we can do is we can click add new wallpaper right there. And at this point we can go ahead and start setting up our wallpaper. So what we want to do now is you can either choose a pre-existing photo, which a majority you may want. So you can choose photos and you can go ahead and choose that type of photo from your, you know, photo library. You can also kind of make your own wallpaper with emojis different colors, different things like that. There are some, you know, predetermined and built-in wallpapers that Apple has already made. So there's, you know, collections here, there's emoji, you know, specific things right here. Most of the time, though, you may just want to choose your own photo library. So that's one thing you would do. But in this case, we'll just go ahead and change it to this specific wallpaper. So at this point, we can choose it. And now we can go ahead and start setting it up. So now, since we can go ahead and add widgets to our specific lock screen, we can go ahead and do something like this and we can kind of move on like that. So that's another option we have. You can go and set it up like this. And at this point, you want to click done. And if you go ahead and make your way over to your lock screen or your home screen, you will see that that will you know, move and change to this specific lock screen. So your wallpaper will now change. But if you want to change your wallpaper a little bit faster, you can hold down on your lock screen like this. And you can go back and change to a different wallpaper if you want to. So that's pretty much how to do it. It's a fairly easy process. There's different wallpapers here you can choose from if you've already made them. I would recommend deleting them as often as possible, but that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.